Right now on News 4 at 10, state of emergency extended the real fears people have about the record Lake Ontario water levels. And we haven't seen too much rain with the exception of yesterday this week, but I am tracking a little bit on the way for the upcoming weekend. We'll talk that and an update on Lake Ontario in your 401 forecast. And former FBI Director James Comey will testify in public at a hearing. The latest on the fast-moving news and politics is ahead. Live in high definition, this is Western New York's news leader. Now, News 4 at 10. Record water levels are not letting up on Lake Ontario. Homes along the shoreline are still at risk for flooding tonight. And storms headed this way this weekend won't help homeowners. Good evening, everyone. Some fear their entire community will be ruined by the time the water stops rising. News Force Rachel Monjovi joins us live on the state of emergency that was just extended. Rachel? Well, Nalina, Alcott, Wilson, Porter, and the village of Youngstown is at the highest risk for flooding. And because water levels are expected to rise even more, officials had to extend the state of emergency for another month. It's scary. It's very high. I've never seen the water this high ever. I mean, it's, it's amazing. I didn't realize that it could get this high. People living near Lake Ontario are fearful about the high water levels. Well, right now, the water levels are the highest ever on record, and the records go back almost 100 years since 1918. This is the highest Lake Ontario has ever been. We've been seeing a steadily, steady increase, I guess about a centimeter per day here. County officials extended the state of emergency for 30 more days. Homeowners fear their houses will soon be underwater or their property will get washed away. I have a, a seawall, so I'm not too worried right now, uh, although the water is, waves do crest over the top of that wall, and I have had some erosion on the, on the, on the, uh, the bank. But others worry the worst has yet to come. They fear Olcott, a destination visited by many, will suffer a great loss. Well, they're going to lose an awful lot of money here. Uh, I, I hope that people will still come down. It's a beautiful place, but without the beach, it's going to be... You know, just not as interesting a place to be for the summer. I'm mostly concerned about the community here. They've they've worked very hard to bring this community back to life, and I think that it's scary that uh, that it gets like that. Yeah. Breaks my heart. County officials and residents are hoping conditions improve, but are bracing for the worst. The state of emergency will be in effect until June 20th. The Coast Guard is requesting anyone using barrels and drums to weigh down piers and docks to place a large red X on them so they can be identified as non-hazardous in case they get swept away. Reporting live, Rachel Monjovi, News 4 at 10. All right, Rachel, thank you. Meteorologist Andrew Baglini is continuing our team coverage of this. Andrew, good evening. Good evening. It's really unfortunate, even with a lot of dry weather we've seen this week, the Lake Ontario levels continue to rise. We did get a quick uh, burst of very heavy rain, at least many spots did uh, yesterday in the afternoon, and especially last evening as a cold front moved through. But here's the latest from the Army Corps of Engineers on those Lake Ontario levels. The blue line here indicating the observed levels, and last Friday... Uh, when the uh, most recent chart was released, just over 60 inches and continuing to rise this week. You can sort of see at the top here, it has been leveling off a little bit with some dry weather, but still rising a little bit each and every day, well above the forecasted path uh, denoted in these blue dots here. Uh, important to note, the forecast indicates that we're reaching the point where it's expected to start to recede a little bit, but as far as right now is concerned, we continue to see levels rise and each day breaking a new record. We're now at uh, 4.2 inches above the previous all time record for Lake Ontario nearly 33 and three quarters inches above the long term average. So a very serious situation that seems to only be getting worse before it is expected to get better and uh, not helping things will be a little bit of rain. We only have a few showers mainly passing to the south tonight, but those are moving into the southern tier right now. Any Friday night plans going to be a little bit wet there here in the metro area. We should be generally dry temperatures. Not too bad. Mid 50s here in Buffalo, some 40s down in the southern valleys, but it will be a refreshingly cool night coming up in your full forward four Forecast. We'll look ahead uh, into the actual weekend and track some more rain on the way for Sunday. Andrew, thank you. New at 10, the driver of this car walked away with just cuts on his hand after he crashed this afternoon in the city of Tonawanda. 
Police say the 67-year-old man from Depew passed out at the wheel, hit a parked car on Wheeler Street, and rolled over. He was taken to DeGraff Hospital. Police say he told them he does not remember what happened. Well, Buffalo police are joining Reverend Darius Pridgen in hopes of finding two suspects who broke into the True Bethel Baptist Church last weekend. Buffalo police just released these surveillance pictures. They're hoping you can identify who these people are. Pastor Pridgen gave the suspects until Wednesday night to come forward, saying he wouldn't press charges if they did, but they didn't. If you think you can help, call Buffalo police at 847-2255. AT&T workers are on strike this weekend demanding a better contract. They protested, as you just saw, outside the AT&T store on Transit Road in Depew. More than 21,000 workers are on strike nationwide this weekend. They say they like their jobs, but they're looking for more money and better benefits. They want their jobs to feel more like a career. We spoke to one woman who says she feels like she isn't getting enough in return for the work she's doing. We all have families. We all have our own bills and our own finances we have to take care of, and we're working way too much to not have as much as we do. We want a better future. We want to have a better contract. We want the company to see that we need this. What do we want? AT&T said in a statement today they have prepared for a potential work stoppage and will use every resource they have to respond to the needs of their customers. A North Tonawanda man has now admitted he deliberately set fire to the home of a black volunteer firefighter. Matthew Gerardo pleaded guilty in Niagara County Court today to a charge of arson in the second degree of felony. He faces a maximum of five years in prison, but no more than 10 years. And when asked why he did it, he said, quote, I don't know. I wasn't in my right mind. He will be sentenced in July. The breaking news out of Washington, D.C. keeps coming tonight. Multiple sources tell CNN the Russians believe they would be able to use fired National Security Advisor Michael Flynn to influence President Trump and his advisors. New reports indicate President Trump bragged to the Russians about firing FBI Director James Comey. The latest bombshell comes as the president is embarking on an eight-day overseas trip, his first as commander-in-chief. And now there's word Congress will hear from Comey. Here's Seth Lemon.